Alrighty. How is everything going? How is the stream looking? How are we feeling? How is everybody? The You feel me? Okay. Just getting everything set up and going and set up and going and going and set up. Uh, does it look like I'm streaming? It doesn't... I don't know. Hold on. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's live. Um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And going and set up and going and going and set up. Duh. Hmm. Does it look like I'm streaming? It doesn't. Looks like we might be having a little oh, okay. bit of issue. Oh, looks like it's live. Uh, oh, might be good now. Here we go. Here okay. we go. I think Here that's go. good. Go. Alright. Cool. So, hello everybody. Welcome back. No one's here, but that's fine. That's how these things go. Uh, just want to make sure everything's going well and I can be watching the stream while I do it. Uh, uh, sorry, everybody. Sorry. Uh huh. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Hey, hello, Pepe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, without any further ado, I guess I'm just gonna get back into it. More people start showing up. More people start showing up, and I will say hello to everyone. How's my audio? I can hear it. Can you hear it? Let's go. So this is the third level of cultic. And we're, uh, we're getting into it. Okay. It's so bright, I can barely see over the glare, but that's all fine. I might actually turn that down just a little bit. The light. Just... Oh, man, you can really see. Yeah, okay, we'll do it like that. That feels good. Okay. All right, I can see a little better now. Here we go. These new findings need to be published to the uh, Covenant immediately. While imbuement of living, willing subjects has been reliably successful, imbuement trials on deceased subjects have failed miserably. The results have been disastrous and the entry ends here. Ooh, very, very spicy and odd and weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, if there, if we're experiencing any audio issues, if, if anything's too quiet, I hope you guys let me know. The treatment trials on deceased subjects, have, but I think everything's fine. Sorry, I know I'm wasting a lot of time, but we're just getting, getting everything going and started and going here. Oh, don't need to be hearing it here either. All right, let's kill some cult members. That's what they deserve. I kind of remember this level. It's very weird. I need to get like different gears and whatnot to 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 get a bridge going. Uh oh. Spookiness. Ah, they're behind me. What's happening? Okie dokie. Ah. I'm out of bullets in that. I did not pay attention. I wish you could set stuff on fire with uh, with your lighter, but I don't think you can. I think you can just use the Molotovs. Because it sure is hard to see in the dark, especially when I've got a big light glaring at me. But, uh, say lovey. Alright. 
Alright. So I've got to find uh, the rest of the materials to get this bridge thing open. I'm going to die. I'm fully going to die. Or not, because I'm a gamer. Ah! Okay. Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining Longle. I, I, I want to say that's how you say it, but who knows. Uh, very happy to have you here. I hope you enjoy me dying, because you're going to be getting a lot of that. I'm thinking tonight, and I'll probably make this morning stream a little shorter just to make up for it. I think tonight I'm going to try to play Ultra Kill and uh, get drunk while I do it, just because people tend to like that, and I like it. You know, um, so feel free to tune back into that to, tonight if you're interested. But otherwise, let's try this again. And remember this time that they might be coming from behind me. Okie dokie. Now where are you, motherfuckers? Over there. Okay. Just gonna keep moving. Not even gonna let them get the, the best of me. So they're just all around. Oof. Oh, this is creepy, dude. If you hang out in the truck, they just all gather around it. Ah. It's really hard to see. I don't know if you guys can tell. The dark make, makes things hard to see. Hydration stream, you are correct. Yes, that's what we're doing. But I don't have to call it a hydration screen, stream because I'm an adult. And that's, a, that's an adult thing to do. Okay. We did that. Health-wise, we're all right. Are they lured to sound? I don't actually, I don't, uh, actually know the exact dynamic of these little these lads who like berries and cream. More ammo. There is isn't cream. There is isn't cream. I don't really know why things get popular as memes. It just happens, doesn't it? I guess it's memorable. Huh. These morning streams probably aren't the best idea realistically because like I'm on spring break and like the majority of my viewers are probably people who have like school or work on a Tuesday morning but I'm a dumb YouTuber who doesn't have a job other than that and as I said I'm on spring break so I don't really have to worry about that kind of that kind of stuff but you know scheduling big streams for like Fridays through ah fuck like Fridays through um Sundays is probably going to be best going forward. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. I'm streaming in a, with a slightly new setup today. I, uh, I have a new desk that I got uh, through a sponsorship, which you guys will see uh, in the middle of next month in a video that will be coming out around April 12th to April 15th, uh, uh, around that time. Um, but it's a really nice desk, and it gives me a lot more space to work with. Um, really helpful. So... That's a nice, fun thing that I got going on right now. I wonder... I'm going to try something. If I just, like, pound it... Here, where are they all going to come from? I get the feeling they're all going to walk through that path to some degree or another. Or are they smart enough to avoid it? No, that doesn't seem like they're that smart. Got a lot of handgun ammo. I might just pump it into the mass of bodies. Ah! This game is really cool because it's like fun, every every level's really fun, but there is a bit of plot that's going on. You know, I mean, obviously, because like, that's what this game is, but um, I wouldn't say this game is like horrifying, but conceptually it definitely is, and I, uh, I really enjoy that. Uh, you, you find yourself encountering, I don't know, I, you know I, I, I take that back. This is a horror game, and there are elements that are scary but I do think my favorite part of it is not necessarily the horror and more the feeling of playing it um, but I've got you know the thing about horror games is that they tend to be story games and uh, 
while I'm totally willing to get invested into a story game, um, it's a lot harder for me because, you know, especially streaming where you're going to be talking over everything. Uh, or, you know, you should be. Some, some people stream pretty quietly. Uh, and I get that, I guess, you know, if you're just trying to present the game and it's not really about what you have to say. But I like to think of streams as more as like podcasts or conversations that you have with your, um, your fan base while, I don't know, distracting yourself with whatever's going on. It's a lot easier every time for me to be talking while I play, you know, because I, uh, I stop paying so much attention to doing like cool, crazy shit for my own entertainment, and uh, I just kind of play better, naturally. I say after I've died several times that I'm going to die again, most definitely. Ah, uh, right now, potentially. Come on, you motherfucker. What's up? Alright. Cool. It's, it's fun, you have to get really good at like, seeing movement, because that's the only thing that, that like, because they blend so clearly into the background, but if you just start getting an eye for it, it's easier. Why aren't, what are you looking at? Nothing now. Oh! He was tricking me. Ah! Alright, there we go. Shotgun is great, but I'm running out of shotgun ammunition. Should probably be going back to axes. Ugh, I always get lost in this spot, because I know- I feel like there's three items which I'm supposed to find. I, I always find two, no problem, but the third one is always missing. Because I am locationally blind when it comes to video games. Spatially unaware. 100% of the time. Nice. 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 Love that. I love the Molotovs and the explosives. They make this game so fun. Okay. I got that. I got that. Oh, I actually might be good. Oh, I'm good. Okay. Uh, 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 but I remember that you guys are... Get the fuck away from me! Okay. Yeah! Yeah, that's what you like to see. Alright. We handled that pretty well, not gonna lie. There we go. We're past that point, now we get to move on. I would love to find some more ammunition, but I will make do. I'm happy we got past, uh, got past that point so quickly, because I feel like that part always trips me up when I'm playing on my own. Can I go down there? I feel like I can. Yoink. Nice. Okay. Can I go in the water? Yes, I can. It's not one of those games where you drown, you know? No, without any chance to save yourself. <laughs> Man, he like flew into the air. He exploded. Okay. I'm trying to get back to the main road. I actually think I can't. Ow! Bitch. Alright. Got a lot of just bodies around, which is pretty fun. I need more uh, rifle ammo. The rifle is like my favorite gun, probably. This this is a lot of fun. I do really like this level, if I recall correctly. You get to explore a bunch of different buildings. Bang, bang, bang. I'm gonna do a little stream check, make sure everything still looks good. More uh, rifle ammo. The rifle is like feels like it's good. Okay. Unfortunate thing about streaming is that you are never guaranteed anyone is going to care about the fact that you are streaming. Whoa, I found a secret. Nice. And uh, sometimes you just get no one on your streams, and that's fine. This will exist for anyone who wants to watch later, or it can just exist for me. Sometimes it's fun to stream just because you know it's there, you know? You're playing a game, but because, you know, this is my job, technically, uh... You know, it still feels more like I'm working. If I at least make it, you know, something people can watch and I can potentially make money off of. But, you know, that's never really been what being on YouTube has been about for me. Hello again, Kai. Welcome back. So happy to have you here. 
I, uh, I remember you from yesterday. I, uh, I was uh, doing my morning work and uh, decided I, I, I had so much fun yesterday I wanted to do it again. All right, what we got here? Hey, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. I'm going to do a voice. Hey, Eddie. Hope you see this note. I'm asking for a transfer off, transfer off the North Shaft team. I keep seeing shit down there. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Got to be some kind of gas down there or something. Just wanted you to know it's got nothing to do with our little scuffle the other day. Drop my, uh, drop by my cabin for a beer sometime, would you? All right, cool. So we got a, uh, we got some shit going down in the mines. Uh -huh. This is why you check every locker. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to walk in on you, gentlemen. Boom, bam. All right. <laughs> Uh, I love pixelated gore. Can I say that? Is that a weird thing to say? It's, you know, there's just something about it. This is this needs to be be a video topic. The the retro, these retro aesthetic kind of games. The grit, the 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 pixel art sprites. Got oh jump scared. Okay. Why can't come on? These guys take a few hits. There we go. I just wanted to throw the axe at his head. All right, I need a, I need some healing. Oh, there you go. Love this. Played some Ultra Kill earlier uh, for a sponsored video I was working on. Oh, will we be watching Who Wants to Gnaw on Human Bones again? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if there's any situation that uh, requires Who Wants to Gnaw on Human Bones. But I gotta say, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to go right now and just watch it again, but, you know, got to keep it fresh, got to keep it exciting. So we'll see. We'll see if, if, if chat earns who wants to gnaw on human bones. Ooh, nice. Ah, ah, ooh, oh. Can I not hide in lockers? I want to hide in locker. You go in there. Okay. Can I... I just want to. Just, what is this? Not Outlast? Okay, I don't think you can do that. That sucks. These toilets are getting smashed. Bam! Bah! I hate plumbing! I'm I'm the anti-Mario. I'm Nega Mario, or whatever they call him. The purple Mario who chases you around. On to the next cabin. See, this one's fun. You get to, you get to go into cabins. Something's blocking the door. Let me in! Let me in! I can see people in there. I smell you. I I would love more games where you play as like the horror antagonist, and I don't mean like uh, what's it called? Um, Dead by Daylight, because like that's fun, I guess. Uh, it's fun enough, but it's not like nice. Um. It's not like a story-based thing. It's more just like, you know, team whatever. I, I don't know what, uh, what do they call it. Un imbalanced teams or whatever. Um, ah, that didn't work. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> really hoped that would work. Uh, new plan. Okay. Ah. But I, I mean, I mean, I want stuff where it's like you play as a, a serial killer, and you know, you you have the the core gameplay of the game is like breaking into someone's house and killing them. Horror retro aesthetics would be a great video topic though. Given that Gen Z seems to be so nostalgic, that also applies to the horror we uh, feel for something long gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think nostalgic horror is a probably could be a great big video. All right, um, gonna try something else. Will this work? <laughs> That might have got him. <laughs> All right, now let's go clean up, crew. Go. What? Hello? Whoop, whoop, whoop. There. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hey, looks like we got them all. You love to see it. And I got more lever action uh, rifle rounds. Let's go. Yeah, I just, I love the eyes, dude. Like, you didn't need to do that, but you, you did. You can throw them. They bounce. Ooh, nice. Good thing I did that. All right, how do how do I get out of here? 
I have to just break open the table. Bam! All right. So there's one cabin. I'm pretty sure that building over there is where I'm trying to get to, so I'm going to hold off on heading that direction for now. I'm going to look at what's over here first. God, there's, these maps are so cool. There really is a lot to explore. Can I crawl under stuff? Oh, I can. Nice. Do you guys ever watch that uh, the movie The Void? Hello, big fan of your vids. Hey, thank you so much, Parakeet. I really appreciate it. Uh, welcome. Hope you enjoy the stream. Have you played My House WAD? That could also feed into a video about retro video games. You know, I watched um, I watched a video about it. Probably the one that most people watched uh, with my girlfriend a few months ago. I have not played it personally, though. I would love to play it, and if I play it, I will probably do so on stream, because I feel like everyone would get a real kick out of that. Uh, because, you know, as I've mentioned, um, House of Leaves is my absolute favorite book of all time, and that uh, game, as far as I can tell, is very much uh, about House of Leaves, or at least like inspired by, and I, I'm very much into it. And also, you know, it, you're, you're totally right, it does feed into that um, retro, nostalgic horror aesthetic kind of thing, um, where I do, like, I love original Doom. I have original Doom already downloaded uh, on my PC, so it, it literally would be no issue. I could probably have it up and running in the next few minutes if I wanted to, but... Hey! hey. Ah! Sorry, I didn't know you guys saw me. Um, but cool. But yeah, no, uh, I would totally love to put some time and thought into that specific experience and I bet everyone else would too oh I'm so good at this game <laughs> that's not true but I have fun with it you, I think the difference between being good at a game and enjoying a game is is actually not that different like I enjoy games that I am good at but I also get good at games that I enjoy and so, you know, playing a game like Coltic, where there's like a lot of room to mess around and be creative, uh, you you become good by wanting to, you know, explore the core mechanics and, and get creative. And it, it's you know, it's one of those things where like it's it's a game that rewards a certain play style, and it's like the most fun play style to play. There's a lot of good games like that. You should have a game that's got like a that, that it, it, the best games are games that like every piece you know works together and they all they all uh, oh my god uh, create a unified experience like if you've got a game where it's like oh man the shooting's so fun but the writing is bad or like you know the story's great but the gameplay is really boring you know you've shot yourself in the foot you need to have a game that's gonna and I, you know I talk about this as if I have any experience with game design at all um, but you know, I feel like you should have a, you should be trying to prepare a game that does it all, you know. And I recognize like you know there there are time constraints and there's like there's only so far as you can make it, you can stretch a game to make it what you want it to be. But at the same time, it's like if you if you have respect and faith in your core concept, it's really hard to fail, you know. Uh, by now, games that we played in, on the 2000s are retro. I think that's why digital horror is also on the rise. Uh, yeah, dude, it's so weird to think about that. Like, Club Penguin was a game that I played every single day, and I was like, yeah, th 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 this is not nostalgic. There's no way that this is ever going to be. And then it gets uh, ended, and now every time I look at a Club Penguin video, I'm like, man, that's a really personal experience that only like a very specific grouping of people got to have. Very weird. Uh, Parakeet, this game is called Cultic. Uh, it is about a rogue cop, I believe, um, who's investigating a cult and kind of just going on a Rambo spree of completely dismantling every part of the cult as he figures out uh, all the crazy shit that's going on with the cult. Um, and it's fun. It's one of those games that you just piece the story together through these kinds of documents, which I've been reading. And uh, I'll read this one also in an accent. Bro, I had a Club Penguin boyfriend who hacked my account. No! You hate to see it, dude. Why do, when you're a kid, when we are kids, why did we want to, like, have online boyfriends or girlfriends or whatever the fuck in, like, Roblox and Club Penguin and Adventure Quest? Like, I was always doing that shit, and it was not a good idea. It's probably not safe. 
All right. Um, on the subject of the new dig proposal for the North Shaft team, the layout of the proposed tunnels would cause parts of the dig to go right beneath the new grand, new granule lunatic asylum. Asylum. <coughs> At the depth laid out in the plans, it seems that the integrity of the earth might be compromised. Has this proposal been through review? Is it even legal to dig below their property? Our current dig plans have had satisfactory yields, so why the sudden change to an unsafe and potentially illegal site? With the recent change in ownership, if these concerns need to be raised with someone else, please let me know. I don't know who's talking in a lot of these, uh, in a lot of these text documents, but it's still fun. It's good information. Clearly... Uh, descending into the depths is like gonna be the primary thing in this game because like they're digging they're mining they're going deep so eventually we're gonna have to go deep too Ugh. Give me two seconds. it's crazy imagine 30 years from now looking at Fortnite and Rocket League as we look at retro games nowadays that would be crazy yeah dude even Call of Duty it gets nostalgic these days. People are like, oh, do you remember playing Call of Duty 1 with your friends on an XP weekend and doing this and that map? And it's like, Call of Duty's still going on. But, like, it's just been going on forever. Date. April 28th, 1963. Person involved, Edward Flynn, Ryder Wallace. Equipment damage, none. Incident notes. Physical confrontation between two workers. Argument began over North Shaft dig location. Safety concerns were cited. No serious injuries. Parties involved have resolved the issue. No further action necessary. And then there's always a line of gibberish because I like slamming on the keyboard. I like breaking shit in this game. Just really <sighs> feeling it all. Oh, you pissing? Sorry, girl. Sorry, girly. Come on, Tiny Box Tim. Come on, Stefan. Stefano, whatever. Every uh, upcoming horror YouTuber needs a uh, needs a, a random entity to hold on to in their horror experiences. That's what I've found. Tiny Box Tim Stefano. I even tried to do it back when I was streaming back in the day, but you know I don't want to force it. Okie dokie. We got three weapon parts. What do we got? For maybe we should do something with this pistol. More powerful at uh, ammunition. Oh, that, that costs four. I can't do that. Um, can't do that one. Whoop, 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 whoop. Higher capacity. Yeah, we'll do this one. Cool. How many can we hold now? Eleven bullets. Whoa. Okay. Uh, all right. Where, what are we doing next? Oh, we got five people in yeah. Nice. I just love destruction in video games because you know destroy okay don't get mad at me here don't 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 read into this destroying things setting things on fire fighting all of those things are fun to do but the ramifications of doing them in real life are bad and and they it affects people so you can't fight people in real life you can't blow stuff up in real life you can't set stuff on fire in real life you know what you know what would be what, what life would be like if everyone did that it'd be hectic it would be gta in real life but if i play gta and i blow up a car or set a set a person on fire do i have to feel bad about that no it's fun but it's i feel like i shouldn't be making this one what happened in here did i kill these people i must have no i guess not I was surprised to receive a letter at my home inviting me back for another meeting. Now I didn't share my real name or address with these guys, but I'm thinking maybe my buddy from the city must have. Anyway, the letter promised that I wouldn't see results from just one meeting and that I'd need their help if I wanted to succeed. Classic cult. They get you in, make you feel safe, and get you to keep coming back. Well, I went to another meeting. Curiosity got the best of me, and besides, the donuts aren't half bad. That's also how cults get you. With donuts. The old guy was talking about planning some kind of camping trip, an outdoors retreat that'd serve as initiation for the newbies. Camping under the stars, beers, and team building, the guy says. He follows it up with some testimonials from former members that found great success in life through the program. Funny thing is, those former members are, or were, all town residents, but they've all since left town. Hmm. Suspicious. Uh, 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 uh. 
It's crazy. Imagine 30... Oh, um, just curious. Is the big eye in the background of your banner a reference to Welcome to Night Vale? It's uh, close, actually. It is a reference to a podcast, but it's a reference to the Magnus Archives. Um, the eye is kind of like the, the, the big one... Uh, one of the big fears that has to do with like being watched or watching or observation and you know as a youtuber the eye is kind of like pretty big because the whole point is for us to be watched by people but also you know watching horror movies consuming horror content like being paranoid and aware it all just feels like thematically appropriate and i just i also love magnus archives so that's the reference i actually i have not honestly given night veil enough time but uh, I am very much into Alice Isn't Dead, which is by the same people. But you know, I know that Night Vale is supposed to be really good, and I know it's got gay romance, and I do love, do love gay romance in my horror podcast. I just, I, I, I never was clear if it ever, if it got a little bit more grounded. It, it felt like every episode they just were talking about like a bunch of spooky concepts, and never really like getting too far into like an overarching plot or anything like that. So if that, you know, I could still enjoy that, but I'd, I'd probably enjoy it more casually than I do stuff that kind of gets a little bit more depth over time, which is kind of what Magnus Archives does. It starts off more antho uh, anthology and, and grows into a uh, deeper narrative. Some people actually don't really like the, the more narrative portions of Magnus Archives and kind of prepare the uh, prefer the the in the dark just like one-off anthology and i totally get that like totally uh and it, it speaks to the point i make in a lot of my videos which is not knowing is uh scarier than knowing because once you know you start to understand the fears it starts to be a game of like how do i how do we beat this these things instead of like what are these things because the question of what is this is always way scarier than the question of like what do we do about it because when you start planning to do something about it there's the implication that, you know, you've got a, a handle on the situation. And uh, I think good cosmic horror is really about not having the handle on the situation. And, you know, uh, Magnus devolves into that in the fifth season. And a lot of people also really don't like the fifth season because uh, it breaks away from the formula they'd already been doing. Uh, Diema! Diema! I'm coming home. I don't know if you'll get this letter before I'm back anyways. I haven't seen the post guy for a few days, so regular pickups haven't been happening. Anyway, someone bought out the company, and new management is laying off a ton of people. No idea why, but there's supposedly a big severance package in it for us. There's one last big meeting scheduled for tonight that we're all supposed to attend, where we'll be receiving our severance pay, and then I'll be on the train back home. Bullshit. You're dead. If you went to that meeting, you died. One final meeting with the cult... And they're going to give you a bunch of money and let you leave and talk about all the weird shit you've been doing? Nah, dude. You getting murdered. You're getting murdered for sure. Right. Um, I think I already went in there. I think I already done all this. So I really just need to... Oh, yeah. The, yeah, this is probably the meeting, huh? Uh, it doesn't look like it went well. Okay. Yep, this dude got murdered up. Murdered all to heck. These houses don't even have shit in them. These are lore houses, not loot houses. Here we go. This building is really fun to fight through, if I recall correctly. You have to, like, go up and down and up and down. And it's a whole thing. Whoop. Out the gate. Whoop. In the trash. Always root around in the trash. But yeah, that's the building. So I guess we've got one more big building to try to get into first. Let's okay, gotta get the key. Oh, someone's shooting at me. Don't know who. I've actually been planning on getting into Magnus Archives recently. Where would be a good place to start based on your experience? Episode 1. I, I, I don't believe that across the board for all things, but the first episode of Magnus Archives is a killer episode. And it doesn't, like get worse from there. I honestly think season one might be the best season of uh, Magnus Archives, so absolutely just start from the beginning. And make sure you're not starting uh, from Protocol 1. I know that Alex likes to claim that you can start anywhere in the series and you'll understand, but that's absolutely not true. Ah! Did he kill his friend? I don't think I killed him. 
Well, now. Uh, yeah, so definitely do season one, episode one of the Magnus Archives. And then do protocol later. That, that's what I was talking about. Um, Alex was like, oh, don't worry. If you didn't listen to Magnus Archives, you can totally listen to uh, Magnus Protocol and, and, and you won't be missing anything. And then immediately it was like, wow, you're a fucking liar, dude. Because there's so many references to Magnus Archives in it. That it's, it's like, if you haven't watched the series, what are you getting out of this? These characters being included or, or whatnot. So definitely just start from the beginning. Oop. Hell yeah. Burn, motherfuckers. See, this would be dangerous. This is a building that's kind of made primarily of wood, it looks like. And I'm just throwing Molotovs all around, but I don't think the game really cares. Close the door. Close the door. Oh, didn't work. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Literally missed every hatchet I threw. Man, this level is... All these levels are a lot longer than I remember them being. But I also take my time because I enjoy getting uh, getting lost. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna go around the building and try to break that window. Hmm. Looks like that might have worked anyway. Am I the only one who hears this audio doubled? Is my audio doubled? Hold on, let me run the building and try to break that window. I'm not I'm not hearing it doubled, but if anyone else is, uh, please let me know and I will do my best to, to fix that. Did I? What was I doing? I literally zoned out and I can't remember if I went and got the thing I was trying to get. Uh, oh, I did not. How do I get you? Oh, there's a vent. Okay. Um. This is what it means to be observant. Yeah! <laughs> Bam. Bam. I'm, I'm so good at video games. Uh, not on my end. Oh, okay. So it's, we're having some, it's going in and out. If it happens again, let me know, and I'll see if Especially if I do something that makes it happen, let me know just so I don't do it again. I hear a very faint version of what he says before he says it. Hmm. I I don't know why that's happening. Sorry guys. Is it is it this? Is it my headphones? Is that what we're getting? Or am I hearing Oh, you know what it might be? I think when I check my audio, I might be here. I don't know. Um, yeah, hopefully it won't keep happening. Hopefully it's not too distracting, but I don't really know what to do about it right now. It's ghosts. Yeah, that's 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 my favorite uh, answer. All right, what we got down here? I don't even know. I'm just going to play it safe. I'm not an idiot. I know something's behind those boxes. All right. If it, if it still jumps out at me, it's like, no, I don't exist until the proper moment. Then fine. Anything else hidden down here? I always want to check. Could be Leitner, he's hidden away in the room. I've had enough of Jürgen Leitner. What does he say specifically? It's like, I've had enough Jürgen Leitner in my time to last a lifetime or something. Marty, I fucking knew it! 
I fucking knew it. Bullshit. I threw grenades and shit. Oh, of course it locked behind me. Die! Die! Go away! Ah! Ah! Okay. <laughs> Cut him up. Get some meat. We're eating good tonight. <laughs> uh, got a key. Bonk. Ah! Bastards were trying to ambush me. Got him. So no head. Ha ha ha. Get it? Get it? You guys get it? Do you guys get it? Okay. <laughs> you guys get it? Do you guys get it? Do you get it? Do you get the joke? Actually, I want to look at something. Is there a way to just like climb up into the house or? Okay. I guess you got to do it this way. Right, magnum rounds. Do I have a magnum? Or. I don't even know. It's really. Uh, the streaming is nice because it actually does allow me to, to think through some stuff that I, I would not otherwise be thinking of when I play these games. Just because I'm talking out loud and recognizing that people might be hearing what I'm saying. Um, I become very aware of my audience and, and what I should be presenting to them. All right, this part's fun. Let's be sneaky and clever. Well, I immediately set myself on fire. About That's about as clever as you can get. Okay. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's try again. Video games, video gaming, baba boy. Yoink! No! God, the axes. You gotta hit him right in the head. <sighs> I'm gonna die again because I'm bad. Well, listen to that music though. Oh! I guess streaming would make your train of thought more straightforward. You'd think so. Although if you hear me trying to get a point across in one of these videos, it takes me fucking two hours because I'm like, uh, um, uh, um, what, uh, what, huh? Because I am kind of dumb. Oh my god, why did that happen? <laughs> why? Let's go Molotov crazy. Yoink! Ah! <gasps> Told you this is a horror game. What do you want from me? No. Did I get his ass? No. Heal up, 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 there we go. Where is he? There he is, motherfucker. Die! I'm dead. This is not gonna work, I'm dead. I don't know how I'm alive, okay. <laughs> Doing all right. Doing okay. Doing all right. Doing okay. Killed his friend, idiot. Never gonna catch me. Or maybe he will. Who knows? Ugh. Damn! I really thought I could like jump up there and do a cool thing. All right, let's try again. We were doing okay. 
We just need to do better. And I need to go crazy with the Molotovs. I feel like that's the option. I just need to be careful not to set myself on fire for no reason. All right. Yeah. Molotovs are good at just clearing shit out. Stop it! 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 Okay. I don't know if I'm actually ready to dead to die. I'm not ready to die. Whoever is. <laughs> what am I talking about, dude? How, is there a way that I can, like, know? I need to find a way to... Get away from me, motherfucker! Shit! Damn. I don't know what the cult's doing to create characters who can fucking take that many... Gunshots to the head, but might be worth looking into joining. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay. Don't stop it, fucking good. I see you, bitch. Oh, what the fuck? Damn, I'm really not doing well right now. It's okay. It's okay. I need to play this like Doom. I just need to not not stop moving. Just need to power through. Maybe I need a new plan. What if I just try to, like, lead everyone back here? Funnel everyone into the same spot? Like, they're dead. For sure they're dead. I see you. Nice. Alright. Explosives are just so good in this game. I see you, bitch. Ooh! Alright. I see you, bitch. I see you, bitch! Ah! God, he's fast. I don't know where he is, but I'm just going to make it so if he tries to get out, out, he misses. Or he can't. What's this area? Oh, shit! Armor! Good thing I didn't know about that. You just walk outside. I can just leave. Screw you guys, I'm getting home. Okay. What drove you to making YouTube videos? Uh, I... I've always liked YouTube and YouTubers, and I thought it would be fun to do it myself. Also, I um, love writing. It's like my, my one true, true love, other than my girlfriend, who is my, my real, actual true love. Um, and, uh, uh, sorry, I got distracted. Um, I got into it because I wanted to talk about horror and YouTube, and I wanted to see if it would be possible to join the community of some creators who I really respect. I'm a huge, huge fan of Mr. Gigi. I'm a huge, huge fan of Wendigoon. Um, I watched a bunch of Ryan Hollinger, Nightmind, uh, Nexpo. I watched Game Theory back in the day, Rip Matt Pat. And I just. Oh no! Okay. Uh, well. <laughs> and I just. I, I, I would love to be a part of that. I would love to have that be my life. And uh, so I, I'm following it. And it's kind of starting to work. I've been making YouTube videos for a really long time. But. Uh, I've only just now started kind of trying to like thematically stay in one place um, and I put a lot of more time into my YouTube than I ever have in my life before and so it's just one of those things it just uh, it happened over time and it's something that I've been excited about but yeah uh, as a heathen who only played Doom 3 always moving was never my strat you only played Doom 3 AKA like the worst doom there is in my opinion maybe. Wow, I'm gonna die. Yeah, that that one was just not good. Um that's crazy. That's crazy to me. But you know. 
to each their own. I, I played a bit of Doom 3, and, you know, you, you'd think I would like it because it's, like, a more horror-themed than the other ones, I believe, but, you know, that's not why I ever, I ever was really playing Doom, and so... But yeah, no, uh, with any of the other Doom, uh, Doom games, the, especially, like, since the remake in 2016, the strategy has absolutely... What the fuck? The strategy has absolutely been, uh, don't stop moving, or, you know, you're gonna die. Speaking of gonna die... The, the poltergeist guy came down this time, that's odd. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. So where is, uh, Chainsaw Boy? Oh, he just comes out after I've killed him out. Okay. Die! Come on, motherfucker. Doom 3 was spooky for the time, yeah, it was also one of the few games from the air that still looks good years later. That's fair, maybe I gotta give it another try. I, uh, I tend to, once I, I make my mind up about one of those things, I tend not to question it too hard unless I'm presented with other evidence, and... So, uh, maybe it's time for me to give Doom 3 another shot. I've got it on my Switch, but maybe it would be better if I streamed it. Who knows? Who knows? I just need... There we go. Okay. Alright, we're doing alright. Um, gonna go ahead and try to open this wall thing up again. Ow. Did you just throw my unlit malts off back at me? That's funny. Okay. Cool. Alright, I'm feeling alright. And hopefully there should be a health kit over here somewhere, right? Or maybe not. Oh, I thought he dropped it. Okay, um... Looks like we've gotten most of the stuff... from this area. Nice. Okay. Alright! Cool! Okay, we're doing it. Uh, let's move up. Carefully, I see the motherfucker in his red robe. What is this? The Adventure Zone Balance? Sheesh. What? What happened? I don't understand that one. That sucks. Alright. Speaking of which, I know I recommended uh, Magnus Archives earlier. If I ever, if, if I had to really recommend it, like one podcast to everyone, it would absolutely be Adventure Zone Balance. Uh, honestly, I watched most of those channels you mentioned inspired you, and you're not far from there, in my honest opinion. Oh, no! <laughs> Hold on. Um, I don't know how they noticed me. Alright, that's a way to do it. Um, uh, and my honest opinion, really good building suspense in your essays and giving explanations. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. I, um, to be compared to those creators is uh, insane to me. But, it, but if, if that is how you truly feel, you know, the audience is the one who sets the tone for those things. So that's that, that that's very meaningful. I, I, I try to be as uh, grateful to those types of comments as I can because that really does mean, like, a crazy amount to me. I love, love those guys and uh, would love to one day feel truthfully like I could include myself among their ranks reasonably and not just, like, feel like I'm a fan account or something along those lines. You know what I mean. Imposter syndrome is very real. And, uh, it, it can be easy to fall into that. Especially when, you know, oh, no! Uh, especially when you make a video like the... No, 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 no! What the fuck? No! What the shit? No! <laughs> um, especially when you make a video like the um, Ranking Horror Protagonist video and you get a bunch of mean comments and, like, people telling you you don't understand horror games uh, right off the beginning. Um, but that video did well. It very much could have been a closing point for me where I was like, ah, I don't want to deal with this. Um, but because it got so much attention, I was like, alright, I can deal with a little bit of bad press. Um, but people have been just so nice in, uh, in, in more recent history with the newer videos. And that also means a great deal to me. Well, that didn't work exactly how I wanted it to. That did maybe more. Oh! Whoa! Didn't know you were right there. What's down here? Like, nothing. Okay. 
fuck. Fuck. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, you know what it is? There's an explosive barrel that people keep hitting and that keeps exploding and killing me. So I'm just gonna try to blow up that barrel uh, pretty immediately so that I don't have to worry about it. Man, this is this must be the most amount of times that I respawned. What, 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 already? Okay. That probably did it. Die! 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 Ah! I just get really, really weirdly, like, brutal about it. I like screaming sometimes, but I can't do it all the time. I am not that energy of a person. I have to get drunk, or someone has to make me really mad. Or I have to get like, it has to be very funny, otherwise I cannot make myself just scream for an entire, you know, two hour stream or whatever. Jacob Geller, my beloved. I love Jacob Geller. Oh yeah, and uh, Parakeet. Yes, I, I do love Jacob Geller. He was a, one of uh, the first video essayists that I really got into. And he, he also, you know, I should have mentioned, he also is a huge inspiration uh, for me. Um, I have tried to follow. I think that the, there are probably four people at this point, maybe even five, who like I would say have really inspired me to try my hand at YouTube, and that's Brian David Gilbert, um, Jacob Geller, Wendigoon, uh, Griffin McElroy, and probably Brennan Lee Mulligan. I think those five are, are, are creators who I have so much respect for that I, uh, I, I have been inspired to emulate in my my work I definitely recommend like all of them it, you know they, they do very different stuff not very different they, they do different stuff um, but it's all very inspired it's all you know they're 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 creating art different kinds of art across the board you know Brennan Lee Mulligan's a DM Jacob Geller is a video essayist um, Griffin McElroy is does everything. He makes music. He writes. He DMs. He's crazy. Brian David Gilbert is. Uh, he did the Polygon series. There's this other essay. It's called Flop. I'm not saying that. You almost fucking had me. You almost had me. Flaw. <laughs> Wonder Goon. I do not know. How that, I do not get how that guy has the time. He analyzes video games and it feeds my needs for seven hours. Yeah, dude. Wendigoon has got something else going on. He, uh, he, it's really interesting. Though I, I watched Wendigoon get popular, like, from nowhere. I was one of the people who was there when he was at, like, you know, 7,000 or something. Um, but, but he, he really, he started just talking to a camera, but it just was... He, he talked about it so eloquently and in such a fun and, and casual way that like everyone was like, yeah, I'm into it. And he also talked about cool stuff that a lot of people weren't really that dialed into. Like, a, like Mystery Flesh Pit was a big one for me and for him, I think. Um, where I was like, oh man, I had never heard of that. And now I'm like deeply invested in it. And he just, uh, he, he knows how to find that stuff. And I, I my hope is that, you know, as I build more community and and who knows, start working with other YouTubers or other creators or whatever, um, that I can start to gain that level of confidence and I can become aware of some of these things that uh, other people... He's real? That's a real person? I'm still not saying the name because you're not going to get me that easy, but um, is a real person? That's funny. I guess the, the real person who was trying to play me was the YouTuber himself, herself, or whoever. Oh man, we are so close to being done with this, uh, to, to having cleared this level. Just don't want to, uh, don't want to choke now. I think we did it. And I know there's going to be even more to fight through on the way back down. But as I, as I tend to say a good amount, c'est la vie, c'est la vie.
Alright, so, uh, what do I do about this now? Do I... Hello? <laughs> um, oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, well we got some lads coming up. Let's, uh, send them a treat. I missed, but... Oh, no! No! Did I get him? I think I got him. Okay. A little bit of first aid. A little bit of... Alright, let's do it. Let's get back down. I think there's going to be more guys to tussle with, but oh well. Music changed. Yes, he's real, guys. Please check him out. All right, cool. Well, now that I know he's real, I will I will check him out. It sounds like he'd be up my alley. We did it! Yeah! We got the first or uh, second level done. Our third, actually, third level. Uh, I think I'm going to do one more. I think I'm going to do another level. Ugh, stretchy. I'm going to take a quick stand against racism. No. I mean, I sh yes, I, I will take a stand against racism, but I'm going to use my new stand at my new motorized desk. Hey. You can see the top of my green screen. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I just need to stretch my legs. Come on. That's fun. Cool standing desk, nice and big and tall, like me. Hmm. I spill drinking out of metal water bottles every time I drink from them. It's unavoidable. I don't know why. It's because they're already a little heavy on their own, I think. <laughs> but, uh, but that's life. Okay. I stood. Alright. Gamer mode activate. <laughs> Welcome back, gamers. Alright. That's fun. Um, is the camera still in a good spot? I think so. Oh, uh, Rame! Rame, hello. Yes, I do remember you. Welcome back. Happy to have you. Parakeet Kai, if you really want some long visits, Alice Mark, who once rated every Simpsons episode. Uh, hello, I'll check him out. You remember me. Yes, I remember you guys, and I'm happy to see you again. We're going to level four, the mines. Let's do it. And here we are. In the mines. The children. They yearn for the mines. Can I get into minecart? And will it go? No. I mean yes, but no. Whoop. <laughs> Alright. Ah! Missed. I fired. And then I missed. And I fired. I fired again. I hit something, but it wasn't what I was aiming for, so I guess I missed. Moral of the story, passed out in the snow, had a popsicle, fired again, I missed. Moral of the story, missed. Anyone else here uh, have a moment with Game Grumps growing up? More than a moment, I was so into Game Grumps. I actually got to talk to Dan Abaddon uh, two years ago, maybe? And that was really cool. I, uh, I saw him at a ga uh, Game Grumps live tour. And I told him about Blucifer, which is a demonic horse that lives just outside near DIA uh, that everyone in Colorado is a big uh, big fan of. Whoa. Ooh, dodge. Ooh, can't hit this. Ooh, ooh, who's a gamer? Connor. It's Connor. Yeah! Whoa! Okay. <laughs> uh, Should have seen that coming. Um, game grubs are fun. They, it might be a bit more rooted in nostalgia than anything. I, I, uh, I think they're, they're absolutely still doing it. They do it like every day, every other day, whatever the schedule is, but um, your bird just had 10 eggs. Uh, Flake Snow, hello, thanks so much for joining, happy to have you here. Welcome to the stream, playing some Coltic, talking about some YouTubers we like, having a grand old time. Can I push the minecart is the question for rolling cover, doesn't look like it. Woof, 
This is not a great spot for me to start in. I just need to clear everyone out. Wah! Okay, no more bullets in that guy. Nice. Just need to be hitting my shots. That's how we're gonna win. When the music slows down with the slow motion kills, I love that. Whoa. Oh, that was a perfect throw. I, I'm nailing some of these throws. Lucifer killed its creator. It did. And then uh, the creator's son finished it. Is that not wild? Love Lucifer. One of my favorite uh, Colorado legends. I, I enjoy Lucifer as a haunted figure much more than I enjoy like the concept of like DIA being cursed or whatever people like to uh, imply. I think it's it's much more interesting the fact that Lucifer is a murderous horse who uh, literally killed someone. Not not just like, oh, it might happen, it's a weird urban legend. Like, no. Definitively crushed a guy and I think severed his artery. Insane. Back in 2010s in Latin America, I know that now, uh, the only YouTuber we'd ever heard of was PewDiePie, so I never experienced Game Grumps, Smosh, or Markiplier early days. Wow. That's interesting. Only PewDiePie made his way out there. I never was that heavily into PewDiePie. I know I definitely got into him a little bit when he was doing the T-Series War, as did like pretty much everyone, I think, because we all got very heavily invested in that for reasons, but... Um, but otherwise, you know, I actually never like saw the moment where he was like barrels or, you know, I know that was a big thing. Or I missed most of his big stuff, but you know, he, he set the trend for a lot of things. And also he did a great deal to personally revive Minecraft as a series. Now Minecraft never was really out of, um, out of popularity, but when he started his Minecraft series, which I did really enjoy back in the day, um, a lot of people got back into it and started taking Minecraft really seriously again, which is interesting. Enjoy watching cool people. Well, thank you. I don't know what you're doing here, but... <laughs> ah! No! I need to not read chat in this scene, because I'm going to just die over and over. There's like full cover here that I've not been utilizing. Oh, I got him. Okay, I get it. You can throw axes too. All right. Okay, I think we did it. I think we cleared things out. Let's see if there's any healing. A little bit right there. We had our own YouTube people like Draws Rotsank or Erubius OMG or Song. I had a toy dog and it broke my toe with his ears, so I put him in an oven. I was just a little kid, okay. <laughs> You know, those are the things that happen. It it broke your toe with its ear? Damn. Some Cujo-ass uh, dog toy. Love that. Sorry about your toe. Hopefully it's doing better. Sorry about your dog. I don't... I uh, imagine that he's... The, the oven probably did the trick, huh? Is there something up there? Feels like... There totally could be. Let's see if we can't, uh... You know, oh, you know it'd be so fun to play on stream? Prey. You guys ever played Prey? God, that game is so good. That, that's probably one of my favorite games these days. I, I played it finally in, in, in full, uh... I think uh, the, this fall, last fall. Um, and it was just so fun. It's it's such a good game. Rip toe happens, man. Yeah. All right, looks like we got a new fucking weapon. Can we upgrade it? Oh shit, we got four. Um, let's get the damage up on our pistol. That's gonna make things easier for us in the long run. Yeah, just because we got so many bullets for that. Ripto. Wow, look at this. This is just a cool 
area. Oh, I remember. L last time I was here, I was actively listening to uh, Wolf 359, which is another great podcast, great fiction podcast. I'm, I'm really into that one. I finished it. I think of all my favorite podcasts, it's probably lower on the list, and yet it's still really good. I do love sci-fi shit. Um, and I love a, a good character like Doug Eiffel. I, I, one of my favorite character dynamics are characters who are like very goofy and like don't take things very seriously but are good at their jobs and under the right circumstances. Very much like a Jake Peralta from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Do I like Terraria? I do like Terraria um, more passively than a lot of people. I have never like beaten it. I don't know the first thing about all the different progression and the upgrades. And like I know there's a whole deep like... Terraria is one of those games that you can get like really deeply into, and I never did that, but I do enjoy it. It's it's a fun game. I enjoy the exploration, and I like the the different styles of weapons. And I would totally, uh, I, I'm always willing to give Terraria another try, but uh, I don't play it very often. Could be fun too. Could be fun too. There's a lot of things I'd be willing to stream specifically if uh, other people told me they were interested in watching it. It's a tough game to learn. Yeah, you know, a lot of those sandboxy games uh, don't really lay too much out for you, which, like, totally makes sense. Like, that's kind of the appeal for a lot of it, but um, in the same breath, you know, it can be a little hard to, to get past that learning curve if you don't know exactly what you're working towards. All right, come on, I did it earlier. Yeah, dude, I'm a fucking gamer. Don't even try me. I just fall now, walking, not even jumping. That's a very Connor thing to do. What would you say is your favorite... What would you say is your favorite game's lore? Not the game, just the lore. Uh, huh. That's an interesting question. See, like, my immediate thought is, like, a Dark Souls game, probably. But, um... You know, I have to think about that. Maybe Inscription... Inscription is really cool. It's got a really great vibe. Um, could be Doki Doki Literature Club. I, and I always did have fun with the Five Nights at Freddy's lore. However, uh, that's a whole different experience in itself. And like being involved in the Five Nights at Freddy's lore is more of a being involved in like YouTube community thing than it is like being like specifically a fan of writing. Without the wiki, the only help to give you is the guide NPC. Yeah, I recall the the guide. I recall he had a he had beef with the gun salesman, maybe, and or no, I think the bomb guy had issue with the, the gun salesman, and the gun salesman like the nurse and all that good shit. But okay, yeah, lore wise. Um, I really don't know. I'd have to. I'd have to think a lot harder about that. I'll, I'll keep that in mind as I'm playing, just because it, it's really hard to define. Minecraft, for example, is way simpler, but Terraria has so many mechanics. Uh, it's stuck in learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minecraft. Uh, I totally get what you're saying. Minecraft uh, is another sand. And like right now, it's actually getting more complicated with all the additions and the cave systems and like all the redstone's always been a little complicated. It tends to go over my head to a certain degree, but um, yeah, absolutely. Huh. Okay. Not great on health. I always love... I would love to play more, like, shooters and combat-based games and, like, mines and excavation sites, because they're such a weird, specific, like, atmosphere. Did I get him? Yeah. Oh, motherfucker. Where? Where are you? Where are you, bitch? Oh, you're over here. What? Gunman loves the nurse. He'll give you a discount on everything if you house them together. Really? If I'm an Iraq lady, are you going to make fun of me? No. Not at all. I... I... I am sorry if, if others do, but I have... There, there is no reason for me to do so. Alright. 
Um, here's a thought provoker. What's the game with the worst lore you've ever seen? Oh, that's probably easier for me. It's probably Hello Neighbor. Um, but I'm honestly not even that in tune with the lore of Hello Neighbor, so I can't even say that uh, faithfully. Um, hmm. 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 That's a good question. They're, they're both both versions of those are a good question because I I really have an issue with writing and like logic if it's not thoughtful. And uh, you know, some games don't. You know what it might be? It might be some of the um, the the new like dark picture anthology games i really don't like those games i think they all oh you know what it is it's um it's the it's one of the left one of the uh dark picture anthology games it's last hope maybe it's it's the one where they're on a bus and then the bus like crashes maybe or breaks down and then they like go into the Salem witch trials for some reason, but then at the very end it's like, oh, none of this was real, and there was a, and it's like, well, what was all the Salem? At? I I think it's I think it's called Little Hope. I think it's called Little Hope. Um, that that game I watched uh, I think YMS play, and holy shit, the entire time I was like, what, what am I looking at here? Do people enjoy this kind of experience? And they must. Because they keep making those goddamn games. But truthfully, I find them so awkward. Like, I liked um, Until Dawn. Until Dawn was good. But but that, that, you know, that was the very first one of those things. And it had a... It had an idea other than just, what if we made interactive movies twice every year? Or whatever they do, whatever their system is. Um, here you are, motherfucker. Yeah, that one really embarrassed me. Um, but also, yeah, Hello Neighbor, I do still stand by as being kind of an embarrassing addition to the horror gaming landscape. And it got a sequel. There's a Hello Neighbor 2. Who the fuck played that? I'm an Iraq lady in Iraq world. You see dogs? I don't know specifically what you're saying there, but... Okay. Um, Poppy's playtime lore always rubbed me in the wrong way. Yeah, you know, I kind of... Um I felt that too. That's that's the one with the the big like blue guy with and there's the hands and whatever not. Have you ever played any good Roblox games? Uh, hell yeah, I have. Um, X Run, right or Speed Run? I think it might be called. Um, I uh, you know I played. Uh, what's that? What, Phantom Forces, that shooter that's like way too good to be on Roblox, um, but it is. Um, there was a game I used to play with my friends all the time. That was called Darkness, and essentially it's just like you run around, and one person is like, it very much was like kind of an Until Dawn or um, uh, Dead by Daylight style game, uh, except it was just one guy, and then everyone else had pistols. Uh, there are a bunch of good ones. I can't remember all of them though. Papa's or no, that's a wholly different. But the the pizzeria simulator, or whatever it is, um, plenty of good ones. Are you asking specifically for horror? Because like I've not done Roblox seriously in a while, um, but at the same time, like yeah, you can you can find it. You can find because like uh, Roblox is one of those games that really respects its creators. You know, if if it, it, it's built around other people making the experience so if you've got an interesting idea that's kind of all that's required Whoa! that didn't work oh shit that's scary actually you oh you know another game that has really good lore um subnautica subnautica has really good lore that you that is really like um it's not necessary to enjoy the experience. Like, obviously, you could play Subnautica with like no text, and it would still um, it would still be an enjoyable experience. But like, when you start to learn about like all the other people who crashed and like why certain aliens are where they are, and you know what's going on with quarantine, it starts to get really interesting. Whoop! I love Subnautica. That was one of the biggest things I used to stream back in the day when I was streaming more often. Oh, Faith! Yeah, Faith is also great. Faith is great. Wreck, if you have a dog, it's bad, and you... Oh. Well, that's that's unfortunate. I really enjoy Subnautica, even though scary fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly the point. It's, um... I don't, uh, I don't really have any issues with, like, spaces as, as horror. I'm not claustrophobic. 
I'm not that afraid of heights. I don't love airplanes, but like I can manage. Um, and I, I'm not afraid of the sea or space or any of those things, but Subnautica does such a good job of suddenly making you very afraid of the deep ocean because it just presents every you know threat to you. You have to seek out. And that's great. You have to put yourself in the dangerous situations in Subnautica if you want to win. You know, you have to get these blueprints, which can only be found in these places. And and you know, when the little the lady the the AI voice thing starts going like, this area is really dangerous. Are you certain it's worth it for you to be here? It's like wow, that's really ominous. So Subnautica has some really great lore and some really great. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's got some, some good atmosphere. And uh, the music also is great. So has got great music. Faith also is fantastic. I've played the first one and like half of the second one, but I got stuck uh, in the half of the second one. And um, not, not like it was too hard. I just got lost. And you know what I've been saying. Um, when it comes to understanding video game spaces, I am a moron. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm just checking some stuff. I think the helplessness of Subnautica helps the fear. What are some good puzzle games, you know? Oh, uh, a bunch of good ones. Um, the Witness is a great puzzle game. That's uh, It's pretty simple. It's got a really beautiful landscape, and you just solve, like, uh, line puzzles. Um, Portal, obviously. Love both the Portal games. Uh, what else? There's, there's a bunch of really good ones. It depends on what's your definition of a puzzle. Because, like... Some games are strategy, um, but let me think. Like what, more definitive puzzle games. Uh, what's not like? Let me let me check my Steam list. What I have in my library. Um, you know, hold on. I'll, I'll just think about it. Shh. Oh no! What the fuck? That's weird. Okay. Um, I know more. But I can't, I, I'm going to have trouble thinking of it. Actually, you know what? I can just go to my Steam right now. I can just go to my... If I do this... Hey, here we go. Um, actually, you know, I, I don't want that fully available for everyone to see. Uh, let, let me take a look, though. Puzzle game, puzzle game. I don't play too many puzzle games, because uh, it's just not my, my style of specific... interest necessarily man i actually really don't have too many manifold garden actually is a really good one that one's got a really trippy weird atmosphere that i really enjoy i definitely recommend that one um yeah i actually don't play too many puzzle games now that i'm looking at it i mostly like I play a ton of roguelikes. I love roguelikes. That, that works for my brain so well. Um, but I think, yeah, just those those couple ones I have there. Yeah, Manifold Garden is definitely good. It's got one of the coolest endings I've seen in a long time in a game. Okay. I was so not sure if I was going to be able to survive that or if there's a better way to get around that or whatnot. Motherfucker! Die! 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 Die before you get to me! Die before you get to me! Nope. Blah. Nope! Oh, okay. What are you gonna do now? Bitch. You don't know how to jump! Yeah, suffer. One where I don't remember the name of, but it's like FNAF and Subnautica together. Now, how would that work? Uh, you're a security guard for some underwater research station or, or something along those lines. Um, that sounds like it could be pretty interesting. Oh, no, 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 sorry. I... <laughs> I saw a bunch of people blocking my path. That's fun. That's that's how that's how you do a good scare. No jump scare. No bang. Just one person realizing, oh no, I've been cornered. Haha. -ha. Man, I 
am getting lost. Really enjoying this machine gun. It's good for mowing down groups. You just aim for the head. Clear them the fuck out. Nice. Oh, Iron Lung! That totally could be what you're talking about. Iron Lung was great. Um, a really good puzzle game is one called Grease. Oh! I actually have played Grease. I have it on my Switch, that's why I couldn't find it. But Switch, uh, but, but, uh, Grease is, is really nice, yeah. Have you watched Avatar, not the Blue People one? Uh, The Last Airbender? I watched most of it, and then, like, right around near the finale, for some reason, I just stopped watching. I was so enjoying it, totally, totally liked it and what they were doing, um... And by the way, I mean the, the animated one. I've not seen the live action one. I've heard that it's getting kind of mixed reviews. And uh, I might give it a shot, but I don't really have the connection to Avatar that a lot of people seem to have, where they're like desperately, you know, they need everything to be exactly the way they think of it or remember it. And I, I find that's just, that's a hard, a hard perspective to have. You know, when someone's recreate, I don't love recreated media in general. Like I have a huge, issue with um disney's recreation of stuff all the time like they're consistently making you know remakes of classic animated movies and i don't like it um so you don't like the live action bro my bird said fuck because he watched it uh don't say say freak bird freak i need to stop swearing i'm bad influence on birds sorry dude now what's going on here Okay. I know this about to be a boss fight. It's got to be, right? But from where? Yep. Motherfucker, dude. Uh, see, I just said I need to stop swearing, and then immediately. Ah! Ah! I didn't think you could climb. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! And jump. Whoa. I'm gonna die. Yep, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand people's obsession with making everything a bad live action. You're absolutely right. I don't... It, if something started animated, it's, it, it, it already is good. You, because animation naturally takes more effort than live action. So to be like, yeah, we're going to take this animated thing and we're going to do it worse and in, in an easier way while missing the point of what made the first thing so good. This is like a, a big Disney thing. And adding anything that we're adding literal trash garbage all of the new disney songs that get added to like the old disney remakes are bad they are not good and they don't keep up to the same quality that these beloved films you know i have this conversation with my girlfriend a lot because she is a fan of some of the disney remakes especially the new little mermaid one she really likes hallie hallie bailey i think her name is um Let's not talk about the last Airbender movie. That's not even worth talking about. That's M. Night Shyamalan's greatest crime against humanity. But the issue is, um, and I think YMS talked about this, uh, there, when she is singing, she goes on like, you know, uh, she's missing the emotion that the original Ariel had. And it's this is not a race thing. I know everyone tries, anytime a woman gets cast in something and people criticize her, uh, and, you know, for good reason. A lot of people think of it as sexism. You know, Daisy Ridley in Star Wars, Halle Bailey as uh, Ariel, and that's more racism than it is sexism, obviously. But my criticism has nothing to do with race. That obviously doesn't matter to me there. It's just I don't think she's imbuing, like, the innocence and, like, the, the vibe of the scene that was what made that scene so powerful in the original animated, you know, movie. And so... You have to ask yourself in that moment then, well, why did you make a remake? Is it because you think this is better? It's not. Do you think you're adding something? You haven't. So really, the only reason you're making a remake is to make money off of recognition um, and to keep you know, your copyright, depending on who you are. I have, it's such a pet peeve of mine. I don't think, I don't like remakes. I love a good horror remake, um, especially if it's been a long time. Uh, but you know, you need to have vision for that. You need to, if you're doing an updated version that has to do with technology, make sure you understand how that technology works and you don't present it like unfriended, which is an embarrassing display of people who wanted to make a movie about the internet, but did not put enough time into figuring out how 
people actually interact interact with the internet, and and that's that's just an embarrassing mistake to make. If that's the whole point of your movie, how do you fuck up that part? If you're making a Little Mermaid movie, how do you fuck up you know making Ariel a relatable and well liked character? If you're making, you know, The Jungle Book or The Lion King, how do you fuck up in representing animals in the way that they are liked in 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 the original? Like. Disney's on this this weird trend of being like, I'm going to, um, or we're, we're going to remake a bunch of movies that are about animals, but we're going to make every animal photorealistic and non-expressive. And it's like, okay, well, see, the, the reason you're doing that is, is why. People don't like the original Lion King because uh, Simba is just sitting there looking like a regular lion. No, they like it because he's a cute lion with a personality who's very expressive, as is Scar and Mufasa. I'm going to die in this, this scene over and over and over. Um, Scar and Mufasa and, and all the Rafiki, Timon, uh, they are all incredibly uh, expressive and animated. And you know why? Because they are animated. Um, and look, the new Lion King, they're also animated, but they have, they, they look like regular animals and that's fine. That's interesting. But do you think that we liked Lion King because of realism? All the animals were talking. And in fact, in your remake, all the animals are also talking and that's not too unrealistic. It's, it's one of those things. And also, you know, I think everyone's aware of this little fact too, that, um, they they brought people on to to make uh like test demo versions of what the animals might look like and some of the artists they brought in actually did have very expressive and and you know creative looking versions um that were also semi-realistic and they just didn't go with that and um everyone's it, it, it just so many things come together to create an experience that i don't understand why they're making that hold on let me read Really love action. I have a baby owl. Baby owls are very cute. Um, my issue is that why do we need to remake a movie but change the actors' races? I don't have an issue with that. I think that's fine. If you want to change someone's race, that's 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 your decision, you know. Um, and you know, there's a reason for it. it. It allows people in underrepresented communities to see themselves in these popular roles. I do think though that it's probably more worth spending the time creating new original characters of one race or another. Um, but you know. My, my issue with, with The Little Mermaid has nothing to do with the fact that Ariel is black. I could not care about that less. But, um... Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna die a million times. Uh, like, black people not inspiring... In, yeah, see, that's that's the point, you know. They... they it, it, people should be attempting to create unique stories for representation instead of, you know, trying to edit our stories. But again... I don't think the point of The Little Mermaid is that Ariel is white, so it, it shouldn't be the point of the new remake that she's black. And I don't honestly think that they made it about that. I think other people make it about that by just, you know, being racist, which is unfortunate. Racism is still very alive and well. Um, oh my god. I need, to not t I, I need to not talk and just try to do this. Give me a second. Um, Really enjoy modded Terraria because I love talking paint. Animations on medium, why are they focusing on making it photorealistic? Take advantage of animation. Can do better than live action. Yeah, that that's that is the big point thing to me. You know, I I I want everyone to be able to see themselves represented. Uh, man, woman, gay, straight, black, white, um, Hispanic, Asian doesn't matter to me. I everyone should get the chance to see stories about themselves. But those stories should be good and they shouldn't be a a, a shoe in. Just you know, to get butts and seats. There's there's better ways to do what people are doing. That's all I have to say on that. To be honest, that's not all I have to say on that. I could go on forever, but um, I really shouldn't because I think I'm just gonna keep dying over and over and over if I don't focus up. So give me a second. They're gonna come through there. I'm just gonna have it be on fire already. God, 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 it's very stressful. <sighs> okay, got one, got one, got one, got one. Okay. Uh, I just don't have very much health. Okay. Just needed to focus. Just needed to focus. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
And it's one of those things, now that I, I can talk again, it is one of those things that becomes hard to talk about because, you know, um, the internet, or really just reality, is very divisive sometimes. So if, if I say, oh, I don't like, you know, Halle Bailey for this role, then I, I create a situation where, you know, someone could be like, oh, because you, did I, oh, <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. Uh, so I, say, I create a situation where someone could be like, oh, you're racist, and I, I'm i not, you know, that's that's how it is. But at the same time, um, if if I, you know, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. I'm going to, I got to do this again. Oh, God, I got one, I got one, I got one. It, it, look, the, the, the point is, um, you can't please everyone, and, and someone is always going to be shitty, no matter what you create. So I just think that artists should focus on creating stories that mean a lot to them, and, and that is going to be the best way for us to get good content moving forward. Cuphead is also a great game. If you're going to represent a minority, why do it by pacing that minority in an already existing IP? We all deserve to be represented fairly and with good stories. Absolutely. Couldn't have said it better myself. Um, and you know what? We, we we are getting to a place where where there are good original stories that are being told about you know different groups. Like a lot of what Jordan Peele is producing, I absolutely love, and that is very much centered around the black experience. Um, everywhere at the uh, uh, everything everywhere all at once. I almost said everywhere at the end of time uh, is something that very much has to do with Asian culture and and uh, the way that that interacts with gay culture and 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 any number of things and like these are really compelling well done stories that have nothing to do thank you thank you so much uh j saws oh shit wait are are you the one who made this game did that's crazy um uh well, thank you so much for the for that that's really kind of you that's awesome um, roughly translated, do not press this plunger unless the outsider makes it into this room. Not the mines themselves or even the lower chamber, but this specific room. It took hours and cost two of our brothers their lives to trap that thing. Do not let it out unless absolutely necessary. That's wild. Um, respect. Uh, Coco is dancing when he's saying F-U-C-K. I'm so sorry, Coco. I should not have taught you this terrible language. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, the point that Kai... Uh, made earlier is is completely correct that it, it can feel like an afterthought and you know who am I I'm a white cis guy talking about uh, how to represent uh, yeah I, that's really cool to me thank you game dev for joining I'm, I'm so happy to to have you here and, and to have that support and I you know you probably already left at this point but that's really cool of you um, uh, sorry I'm losing my train of thought because so many things are happening all at once I, I, I just think um, it's important that that art is not about appealing to uh, as many people as you can. It's about appealing to either a very specific group that, that you are hoping to talk. You know, I'm a horror YouTuber, and so the group I'm hoping to appeal to is a group of people who like horror. But, you know, if, if you are an Asian creator, an Asian American creator, a black creator, whatever, and you're, you're making stories for you know, a, a community of black people for an audience of black people or, or whatever. Um, that's great. I totally understand that and respect that. But when you are, you know, you're sitting in a Disney boardroom and you're like, how do we appeal to every person in America? You're going to fail. You're going to embarrass yourself. You're going to make, you know, uh, racial things look way less or more complicated than they actually are. You're going to... Um, have a bunch of people talking about like nostalgia bait and you just you just it's not good for for your look um and that's that's the big thing and of course you know you also expose yourself to if you create something that uh is divisive and has to do with a minority group you also open yourselves up to uh having your film be claimed by a group who you wouldn't necessarily want to be attached to your movie like um, it's really hard when people make a movie, you know, that, that does poorly, that also has to do, you know, with, with a black person or, or, or any minority that's, that's being represented in a specific place. Um, you can have a whole group of people who are sudden, who, who take your choice to do that and say, hey, isn't this good proof that, that this minority group is this, that, and the other, um, that we are right and now Disney agrees with us? And so it's, it's you know, 
you got to be careful of it. But then again, you know, as I've been saying, I am a, I am a white cis man. I have uh, never really had to struggle in, in a lot of those ways. And so who am I to, um, to define how you're supposed to handle these things? It's just my, uh, my two cents on the issue. Wow, God, this, I am doing so poorly right now, specifically. Rip it. That's really cool. JSOS, that's, that's very meaningful to me. Very exciting. Uh, oh my god, see, just fuck off! Okay, come on. I actually can't believe that worked. It really, it, it did work. Okay, there's more people up there. Missed? I fired, and I missed. Didn't miss that time. Okay. Feel like we're getting close. We're almost out of the mines now. I, I, we have to be, right? Fuck. God damn it. Ugh. He blew himself up. Don't kick it back to. No! <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. Crazy. Craziness. I might go game a bit soon. I might be back. Uh, that's fine. I don't think that I'll be playing for too much longer right now, but I, I might stream later tonight. I could, I've been talking about doing a drunk uh, ultra kill stream, which would be really fun for me. Um, but yeah. I really can't get over the fact that uh, Jsaws, um, Jsos, Jsaws, um, join. That's that's super cool to me. And uh, that that's exactly you know one of the reasons that I started doing this kind of things, because I want to be able to connect with people in the community who are who are creating these awesome things and i have already you know i've got a lot of fan artists and and not specifically like for me but i've i've been connecting with really talented artists and like you know for um my own commissions who i'm which i've asked of them and also some people sent me stuff for free but you know i i've had indie devs send me their own games which i've played and they've been really cool one of the ones that i i really do need to make a video about at some point coming up here is uh, I did not buy this ticket because that game was beautifully designed and uh, requires a bit more. Uh, all right, it's gonna skedaddle, skedaddle now. Been fun. Uh, thanks so much for joining, Flake Snow. Really appreciate you being here. Have uh, have fun gaming. I uh, hope to catch you in another stream soon. Okay. All right. Cool. Checkpoint reached. All right. What's going on over there? They're just blowing each other up. Ah! Never mind. Alright. Eat this! They did. Ah! Wah. You know what I should maybe think about playing on stream at some point? Uh, Half-Life because I feel like that's a game that I really should have played by now and I, I own both of them obviously because it's that's like one of the first things you ever buy on Steam because it's like just cheap and it comes with like the portal bundle and whatnot um, no stop it um, but I haven't beaten either of them I, I, I put a good amount of time into Half-Life but uh, like uh, so many other games when you're an ADHD person I just at one point I started playing something else and I never got back to it um, that's a beloved game. I'd be, I feel like if I got into that, people would like it. Stop! There we go. Alright. Okay, we're doing better. We're, we're moving forward again. We're, we're making progress. A lot of fun. I'm going to pray, but I will be back. In, uh... Enjoy that. I, that's probably not <laughs> the right thing to say there, but um, cool. I will see you later. Um, hopefully I'm still playing when you get back. I might not be, though, but I will definitely be streaming more in the future. So thanks so much for joining. Adios. Use mine key. This very much could be the end. Doesn't. Oh, is this where people are blowing each other up? I think so. Bye. Thanks for joining. I hope it's pronounced Reem, not Reem, Ream, or something. I, I, unfortunately, am not just familiar enough with the name. But oh well, I gave it, uh, I gave it my best shot. And if 
they can correct me if, if they need to. Are we done? Did we do it? No, we got more. Oh, it's, oh, it's already not great. Okay, that actually was not too poorly handled. I just want more rifle bullets because they're so good for setting up those headshots. Okay, so if I if I saw correctly, there's a bunch of people under me, so let's see if I can't figure out a way to get this dynamite to like go back under me. Yep. Or I can just do that. Nope, 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 okay, all right. Should have seen that coming. You got a gas mask, huh? I've already played it, but I think I want to play Amnesia the Bunker on stream at some point. That, that would be a lot of fun. Because it's just, it, I really enjoy that game. And the reason I'm thinking about it is because it takes place mostly underground, and like, you see all these kinds of lights all over the place. Um, oh, I've already, I've already been here. I must have been looking for the key to this place, huh? Yeah. Hello, ladies. I have not been doing this at all the entire game. Are you coming, or are you just gonna stand there? Uh, okay, did I kill myself, or did they? <coughs> Alright, let's try these again. We're making progress, we're making progress, we're almost out of it. How long have I been streaming? A little under two hours, that's uh, kind of exactly where I want to be, good. That's why it's not working. There we go. Now you're on fire. Sorry. Did someone just shoot all the enemies? What just happened there? Ow. Alright. Just going to draw them to me. You come to me. God, the fire is just the best. Because they, they, I'm pretty sure like almost every enemy stops attacking once the fire starts going. Okay. This time, not going to be stupid. Feels like I got someone there. <laughs> Motherfucker. I need to stop cursing. Well, Reem Reem is not here anymore, so I don't have to worry about upsetting their bird, but... Um, still. I, I, I do try not to curse too much in public, but it really is just a huge part of my vernacular. I, I am just a cursing... I was about to say I'm effort, but uh, that's just how I be. Close! Oh, it closes so slowly. Aha, can you open it? I don't know if you can. So what I'm going to do is open it slowly, and yeah, figured as much. I think I got him. I think that probably did it. Yeah, there it is. Ah, no health pack for me, though, huh? All right. There's a little here, though. Nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I need to not just, like, enter rooms without looking. Whoop. Uh, there you go. There you go. Alright. Okay. Someone's a gamer. Someone's played video games before in his life. Ah! I see you up there, motherfucker, by the way. I just don't know how I'm going to get you with my shotgun shells. I might just have to avoid... Nope, 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 not working. Come on. Alright. Okay. The shotgun's so good for these motherfuckers with the shield. Really appreciate that. Alright. I might just have to go crazy with the TNT for a second. Motherfucker. See, I did it again. I I just cursed without even thinking about it. Which honestly is probably not that great a thing. 
Like, I, I'm pretty thoughtful about the way I speak and the words I use in my day-to-day -day life, but, um, Kai times two. Does that mean you're also heading out? That might be that, what that means. Well, thank you for joining. If you are heading out, I really appreciate it. Nope, didn't work. That didn't work. Whoop, baby bop boop. That worked, though. Okay. Health. Ah, ah, no, stop! <clears throat> Luckily, it doesn't do that, too, uh, that much damage to you, I don't think. But it does... Uh, does stop. Oh, you mean you curse a lot. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. It just happens. I, I always wonder, like, how do people fall into cursing a lot? Because, like, you know, I, I as I've said before in, in some videos, I had pretty strict parents, so, like, I would get in trouble for cursing most of the most of my life growing up. Um, and around high school, they really stopped caring, and, like, they just gave me permission to, essentially, but... Um, before then, like, I, I was still cursing before then. I, it, I think it, it probably is just another one of those things of, if it's, if you're heavily restricted uh, I, I, when you're a, a little kid, it's just, you, you fall into it more. Like, um, I did not have parents who were like, oh yeah, you can try alcohol, you can have a little drink. And so when I did start drinking alcohol, I did it like too much and like I was not very safe and healthy with it. Meanwhile, I had a few friends whose parents were a lot more lax about that kind of stuff and they have a they had um, a much healthier relationship with alcohol than I had. I am definitely, like, I, I am fine now. <laughs> I'm going to do a, drinks, a drunk stream tonight, but, like, I, I don't drink uh, very often, so I'm not too worried about that part of my life, which is good. But, god damn! Okay, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, just go crazy with explosives. Literally just kind of waste, not waste them, but I'm just going to no preservation. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Just any place I see. Oh, 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 oh wow, no, wow. Okay, really fucked up there. Healing. Okay. Now I just need to peek out, see where everyone else is. Where am I getting shot from? Where am I getting shot from? Up there. Now let's just uh, aim. Come on, come on. There it is. Yeah. That's what you like to see. Uh, yeah, I had a really homophobic dad and that just made me even gayer. <laughs> That's funny, I love that. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry about your father, but um, if you are uh, actually uh, gay and you're not just making a joke, um, it's fine if you are, but uh, if, if you are actually gay and uh, you're not just making a joke, um, you are incredibly welcome here, and I am. we are all happy to have you. I'm very sorry that you, if you have ever been made to feel that you are not welcome because of that. That is a really hard thing to deal with, and I think everyone who's in the queer community, to one degree or another, has experienced it as well. And so... Uh, where I have just good 70 plus liters of homebrew around me at various stages and I'm drinking. <laughs> Man, that's rough. I, I mean, that's that's fun. You got a lot of... Uh, homebrew, are you... You brew beer? Brew mead? The more your parents restrict something from you without a reason or explanation, the more you want to do it. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. I was wrong. This thing isn't a pyramid scheme. It's a goddamn cult. Oh, it is, is it? Uh, Mr. Sullivan said Satanist, but this, I think, is different. I went to the camping trip. It seemed pretty normal at first, but as the night went on, the sales pitch started to get real strange. We went from talking about baseball and the weather to sitting through a sermon about how we were different. Special, elite, chosen. This wasn't your typical Sunday morning, holier than thou. This was the kind of stuff that starts wars. Then the robes came out. I guess I'm in it now. Crazy. After he accepted my gayness, I became bis uh, I became a bisexual just to spite him. Hilarious. Oh, you're making mead. Uh, my roommate's making mead. That's really cool. Um, yeah. No, I uh, I am bisexual myself. So welcome. Not welcome to the club, but uh, we're both in the club. Um, but yeah, I 
it's one of those things. It's 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 even if you don't have very homo like if, if your family is nice and accepting, that's one thing and that's really great. But there there is unfortunately no escape from having to fight your way through, you know, your identity essentially. The power has been shut off. Okay. Well, what do I do about that? I saw a generator somewhere. I just, ow! Whoa! Why did that throw me so far? <laughs> That's fun. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. I bet I could utilize that for some strats, but I don't know uh, how. Where's that generator? Over here. Ow! Mother... You guys ever touched barbed wire? It doesn't hurt you immediately. It hurts you if you, like, get caught in it and, like, struggle. It's sharp and pointy, but, like, if you just... You brush up against it. I don't know, it can. I don't have too much experience with barbed wire, just some. Alright, now we should be able to go. Alright! Here we are. My sexual struggle with having a partner with the opposite sex. Yeah, that is a thing, because people love to be like, oh, so you're straight. It's like, no. Uh, I just ended up with a person who you're more comfortable with. And we're good! Alright! Alrighty. I do think that's going to do it for me for now. Uh, I'm going to take some time off of streaming. Meat is a very simple thing to brew, so good to start on. Yeah, awesome. Um, to all the people who joined, thank you so much. I had a really great time. Uh, to anyone who watched after the fact, I hope you enjoyed. Um, to JSAWS, uh, thanks so much for joining in the $2. That's a really, really uh, meaningful uh, gift uh, just for you to be there. Um, really, really fun. Uh, uh, like, ah, oh, so nice, you seem like a cis in a relationship, but you get excluded from LGBT spaces. Way up, the lads. Um, sorry, a uh, new person just joined. I'm unfortunately ending things right now, but I really appreciate your being here. I really appreciate your being here. Um, I had a lot of fun playing, and I might be streaming later tonight. I'm going back and forth on it. I think I will, but who knows. Um, but check in later if you want to see that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, everyone have a great rest of